In today's tutorial, we're learning how to make this animated steps presentation in Canva all the way from scratch using only the Canva tools that are available. Now, if you want to save a lot of time and effort while making presentations in PowerPoint or Canva, I have a lot of templates available that are compatible with either PowerPoint and Canva and it will save you a lot of time and effort while making your next presentation. And we're starting from a blank canvas. Now, first we want to change the background color. So go to background color and then choose a nice and dark red color. I'm going to make it slightly darker so I can use all of the other colors in the tutorial. Close the tab and press the R key. Place it in the corner and drag it downwards so it meets the bottom. Now Ctrl C, Ctrl V or Option Shift drag to create a copy and just match them up nicely against each other until you have five copies. So one more, there we go. Now you see we have this open space, so I'm going to select all of the rectangles. Here you can see I didn't align them nicely, so I'm going to readjust that and just make sure that they align nicely. Select them all and then just drag that right handle until you meet the border of the slide. This way we have five equal rectangles on the slide and that's what we want. Select the first one and make it dark. Select the second one and go for one tint lighter each time. Orange, light orange and eventually yellow. Now I'm going to add a nice element. So Go to Elements and look for Triangle. Select the triangle and rotate it 90 degrees. Place it on top and we're going to make it a lot smaller, but also a lot less steep, so it's a bit more subtle. Close this and give this the same red color so that it nicely blends in with that first tab. I'm going to make it a bit higher, a little bit higher, and then just drag and create copies for the other ones. There we go. And of course, we want to give those the same color as the matching tab next to it. For the first one, you can also do it, but then you just have to drag this one to the side a little bit. Oops, only the yellow one. And put it there. Now we're going to group them together. So the yellow part, select the rectangle and press Ctrl G. Drag it to the side again, position and center back. Now we're going to do the same for the orange group. You can always do it like this, deselect and just group only the rectangle with its colored part. There we go. Now if we go to layers and we rearrange so that the darkest is on top and then it gradually gets lighter towards the bottom, we can see that they nicely overlap on each other and that's what we want. Now we're going to add some content to the slide. So I'm going to text and then add a title. Here I'm choosing the letter A and I'm increasing it in size. It can be quite large. Select the letter and move it towards the top of the tab. Place it in the center until you see this align section and then just create a duplicate and repeat for the rest of your slides or for the tabs. I'm going to change it to A, B, C, D, and eventually E. And now let's add some content. For that, I'm using the Quick Lorem app. You can always go to Apps, and here type in Lorem Ipsum. There's a lot available, but I'm using the Quick Lorem one. I want about 20 words. You can see the length here. You can also choose 50, three sentences, one paragraph. There's like a lot of options available. Let's maybe go 50 words or do something custom, 45. And then just add it to the design. It will add to the slide and then you center it or give it whatever alignment that you like. I'm going to make it white and then place it in the middle. And once you're happy, you create some copies and just place it in the middle of each little tab. I'm going to select them all, make them a bit smaller so that the content will not overlap with the edges of each tab. So it gives me some more reading room to work with. And I think that will be better for the design, just like this. And then maybe if you want to top it off, you can always add some icons. So let's go to elements and here type in icon, let's see graphics, y'all, and then choose a selection of icons that you think will fit. Let's click one, two, three. You have that one. Pour and stay within that circle feeling. Maybe this one will do. 
position. Now we're going to select all the icons. Let's make them a bit smaller and position them a little lower on the slide. Now, of course, we want to make this a white and place it at the bottom. Make it white as well. And just repeat for the other icons until you have them all nicely matched up and position on your slide. There we go. You can always select them, position, go to arrange, and then here check if they are nicely vertically positioned. So this way they all look nice. Now I'm going to select everything and group it together. So we have each tab is one grouped selection, just like this. And now we're going to right click and duplicate the page. Let me close this for a second. Now on the first tab, I want to drag the little tabs and drag them behind one another. So all the way to the side, just select them one by one until we nicely stack them on top of each other. You can always select them, position, arrange, and then distribute horizontally. This way they are nicely evenly spaced. Select them all again and then drag them. So also the last one is hidden. Now all that's left to do is add a nice title. So let's call this steps. Make it larger. Give this a nice effect. Some drop shadow. And this one here is animation of animated. Let's put it on top and give this a different font. Maybe something handwritten with brush. So we have, I think regular brush will be good. And then give that text color, maybe yellow. Effects, the lift, that is good. Select everything. And how important is that we send this to the back. So layers, we send everything to the back. And we just repeat that, so control C, and we control V on this side, and we just also drag it to the bottom. Now we have two slides. We hover in between the slides, go to add animation or transition, and we choose magic move. This is quite fast, so I'm choosing two seconds. And now let's preview. And this is how you can create this really cool animated steps effect in Canva in just a few minutes. And it's a really nice way to present your content in a more dynamic way. Thanks a lot for watching. And if you want to learn more about presentations, make sure to drop a follow and watch the video on the screen right now.